All right, you guys, Happy Holler here with a Walmart haul, a small but mighty um, haul here. So we have the poise pads were $4.84. I had a $2 off manufacturer coupon from the Sunday paper a few weeks back, um, but it's pretty common to find those. Or you can go on poiseordepends.com and they usually have $2 off printable manufacturer coupons. So take $2 off of that, whichever manufacturer route that you go. But I gave them a physical one from like a Sunday um, newspaper with the typical coupons that people are familiar with. Um, and then I'm going to stack this with a $3 back for my Ibotta rebate, making that $5, you know, after you take $2 off in store, so your out-of-pocket is, um, 3, uh, no, 284, excuse me. Um, or no, yeah, 284, sorry guys. And then, um, you redeem for a $3 I bought a rebate back and I bought as a rebate app that you use and it gives you earns you free cash back that you can redeem for, you know, cash obviously or even gift cards. So I'll put a link below um, and all that jazz about what um, the rebate apps that I use for my hauls, which are all completely free. There's no gimmicky stuff tied to it. You kind of have to do a little bit of work, but it's not too much um, as far as, you know, some other options that are out there. So I bought as my one of my favorite rebate apps for those of you who are new to that world but anyways so 484 is the price of these um poise pads and then i use a two dollar manufacturer and then you will get back three dollars when you submit to ibotta so that's five dollars so that ends up being a 12 cent money maker so i'll take that um, a lot of times i get these items even though i don't personally use a lot of these items for example i'll donate them or give them to people in need or shelters etc so i'm sure between people you know or charities or donations you know that could use stuff like that that's what i do with those because sometimes you have to earn so many rebates example for ibotta when you submit like and earn five rebates you get like bonus money so a lot of times i like to use these as fillers toward those thresholds to earn additional cash back on top of that if that makes sense um so we'll move on so next we had are these for for toe coffee shots um, organic coffee, vanilla latte, or the Hershey's chocolate one, I believe, are part of this deal. These are really straightforward. You pay one in 98 for this at the store, and then the rebate on Ibotta, again, that same rebate app, um, you earn $1.98 cash back, making that completely free. Now, what I didn't know, typically freebie items um, on Ibotta, there's only a limit of one time you can do the deal, but when I went to go submit the, rec the my receipt, I noticed that it had a multiple times, and I think it had like up to five so technically whatever your limit says on your specific ibotta because everybody's ibotta has different values and quantities that you can do the rebates for so if it says um times five next to it then that means you can get five of these at 198 each and then get 198 times five back in cash which is awesome if you like these especially i don't personally drink this but i donate it to people that i know who do <laughs> but again that's another filler item to count toward my cash back threshold so that'll give me bonus money so I'm, you know when you earn the bonus money it's almost like my free items are giving me money makers in a, in a sense if that makes sense at all <laughs> if not then i apologize ask questions and i'll be happy to answer those in the comments below all right so next are the mint oreos and these were a surprise find i was waiting to check out and the line was so long because as you know at walmart it's always like that for some reason i don't know why even with the holidays coming up for thanksgiving you think they'd have more aisles open but they didn't they only have four lanes open and it was like packed with people so anyways so while i was standing there i was like oh my gosh i glanced over and happened to see these were on rollback which is like the walmart's version of a sale um, that's what they call it. So these were um, normally 134, but they were on sale for a dollar each. And I remembered that I had two manufacturer coupons, um, 55 cents off each one of these. So it's 55 cents off one. So I just picked up two of those because I had two of the coupons again from the Sunday paper um, this past, uh, or maybe it was last week's paper. Um, it was in like a red plum or a smart source. Uh, I can't really remember which one exactly, but you get the idea. Check your Sunday papers or like your printable options on coupons.com. Typically we'll have a lot of the same manufacturers that you find in Sunday papers for those of you who don't necessarily buy a Sunday paper. That's another option that you guys can get coupon sources from. But anyway, so with that being said, these were a dollar each after the sale price. Um, they're, so if you were just a regular person buying these, they'd be a dollar, which is a great price for a lot of people. 
I guess you could say, but I had the 55 cents dropping it down to 45 cents after t applying the 55 cent off one manufacturer. So a dollar minus 55, that's 45. Um, remaining, so these were only 45 cents for the king size chocolate bars. I think I'll hold on to these and maybe use them as stocking stuffers or something like that um, for youth kids or somebody that I know. So with that being said, that's pretty straightforward, pretty easy deal. I'll go ahead and show you the breakdown, the receipt here. I am at my mom's, so luckily she took the baby away from me. Not a baby. She's going to be three, you guys. Can't believe it. But anyways, um, so she took her so I could do these videos. So thanks, mom. Shout out to you if you're watching, which I'm sure you are. Um, anyway, so with that all being said, um, now they did, if you notice on this receipt, and I'll grab it real quick. I did have to go to customer service and have them adjust it because for some reason, even though there's a sale ticket on the, by the, and these I found at, you know, when you check out the candy bar section, the temptation section is what I call it, you know, when you're standing in line and they put those items there to make you buy them. Not me. I don't get tempted unless I have a coupon. I am not buying it. <laughs> so anyways, with that said, so you'll see here, they, um, it was a dollar 34 that it rang up on my receipt originally. So I had to wait, yes, in line for customer service to reimburse me my 34 cents back on each. So I went ahead and have them do that. So that's that. So I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that so you didn't get confused seeing my original receipt. So they did adjust the price down to a dollar and then refunded me the cash back that, um, I paid for that should have been applied originally. So this should have said, and we'll see if we can get my thing to focus here. There we go. It should have said a dollar, but it says 134. But as I showed you up there on the other receipt, it, they did adjust it and refunded me the difference. So all in all, this was a 960, which it should have been less than that. It should have been, I think, more like 850 for the subtotal. And then after all the rebates, um, it was like a dollar 98 back for this, and then the three dollars back for this. There was no rebates on this, um, but so that was a, uh, you know, five dollars roughly back. So it's like I got everything here for a little under four dollars. So. All right, you guys. So with that being said, I hope that's a good enough little Walmart haul. As you know, I do not do Walmart typically. I actually detest Walmart for many reasons. It's just not ever a good experience when I go there. And they're getting more and more crazy about coupons there. And half the time the staff don't know what to do with coupons even. So no offense to them. It's just a personal preference. I try to avoid Walmart unless it's like a, la a last resort or there's like a freebie items or moneymaker items. That's the only real reason why I'll ever go in there. Anyway, so not to bash those Walmart lovers. I'm sure your Walmart's awesome. It's just all my personal Walmart experiences have been nothing but crazy <laughs> and not worth it to me. So I don't go, but rarely. So this is a treat for those of you who know me. They're probably like, wow, you're going to see the title and say Walmart. And they're going to be like, what? Rachel went to Walmart. That's crazy. So, all right, you guys. Well, happy holler over and out. And until next time, um, stay tuned. I will be doing a Publix video with all healthy, organic salad and salad dressing. So if that's something you're interested in, feel free to look, browse the channel and find that video. But pretty good score. I got about $60 worth of produce and dress salad dressing for free. So pretty sweet. All right, you guys. Well, until next time, happy holler over and out, and I will see you guys later.